This video will demonstrate the basic equipment needed for endobronchial ultrasound. We will start by looking at the components of the EVAS tower. This image demonstrates the key features for the ultrasound system. The arrow shows the ultrasound processor. This processor integrates the reflected sound wave captured by the ultrasound probe and generate ultrasound images. This next arrow indicates the light source and endoscopy platform for the convex EVAS. The EVAS bronchoscope rests on top of the tower. This last arrow indicates the keyboard and ultrasound control panel. Next, we will review the features of endobronchial ultrasound, bronchoscopes, and transducer. The components of an endobronchial ultrasound scope include an ultrasound probe, which is highlighted by the red arrow. A balloon is almost always used to improve visualization and decrease cough stimulation when maneuvering the bronchoscope. You can see the balloon in this image covering the ultrasound probe. This next arrow indicates the location of the light source and camera. The last important piece of the endobronchial ultrasound scope includes the working channel. Here you can see a needle extending from the working channel indicated by the red arrow. Next, we will discuss the key feature of the keyboard and control panel. This photo demonstrates the details of the control panel and keyboard of the Olympus EU ME2 system. Most of the other manufacturers have similar capabilities. The red box indicates the button used to input or modify patient data within the system. Here you can see the area of the keyboard that is used to control the ultrasound. You can adjust the frequency of the transducer, focus depth, ultrasound depth, gain, and acoustic output. When performing an ultrasound, you can easily freeze the image, which can be useful when measuring lymph nodes or a pathology. The freeze button is located in the lower right corner and the measuring tools are marked by the second large red box. With this system, you can use calipers to accurate measure pathology in addition to adding comments to your images. The main keyboard can be used to free type for all annotation and other documentation. In this area, you can see how a provider can easily change between different ultrasound modes. The last function seen on the keyboard is the socket button. This allows a provider to switch from convex EVAS to radial EVAS. Now we will do a quick overview of how to attach the balloon. The balloon allows the transducer to have a closer contact with the airway, and it would, will decrease the cough stimulation during the procedure. The tools you will need are the balloon, the applicator, and the transducer. First, insert the jaws of the applicator into the balloon. The jaws can then be opened to confirm adequate placement of the balloon. Next, expand the jaws of the applicator to place the balloon over the distal end of the transducer. Flash with saline to inflate the balloon to ensure that all air had been removed from the system. Then attach the distal band of the balloon to the tip of the ultrasound prop. The balloon cannot be reinflated and is ready to use. 